Hello, and welcome to Gemma Movie Recap Channel. Today we're going to tell you the storyline of Midway, a 2019 movie that tells us the story of the Battle of Midway, a clash between the American fleet and the Imperial Japanese Navy which marked a pivotal turning point in the Pacific Theater during World War II. The film, based on the real-life events of this heroic feat, tells the story of the leaders and soldiers who used their instincts, fortitude, and bravery to overcome the odds. Before we start, please go grab your favorite snacks, sit tight, and let's find out together in this video. But before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. The movie opens in 1937, Kyoto, showing Lieutenant Commander Edwin T. Layton meeting with Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto following a dinner with the Japanese Navy. Yamamoto tells Layton how Japan is eager to become a world power on the same level as the U.S. and China, but the U.S. only sends a limited amount of oil. He promises to Layton that if their supplies are compromised, the Japanese will be forced to take drastic measures. For years later, World War II is raging on, with Japan having invaded China and Hitler taking over Europe. The U.S. has remained neutral up until this point. Just over a thousand miles from Pearl Harbor, pilot Dick Best is flying during a routine exercise with other pilots, ending with a rocky landing aboard the USS Enterprise. He must stay behind and work with his superior officer, Wade McCluskey. On the USS Arizona, Lieutenant Roy Pierce is setting up for church with the rookies. Moments later, Japanese airships fly in and begin to fire upon Pearl Harbor. Ships are bombed and pilots are shot out of the sky. Best's wife and, and daughter Barbara notice the attack from their backyard. Layton is alerted to the attack and joins his fellow officers. Pierce helps the young men move across to a safer boat while he stays behind and tries to fight back. McCluskey gathers his men to prepare themselves for battle now that the U.S. is officially part of World War II. After bodies are recovered from the ocean, Best goes on to identify Pierce's body as he was his roommate and old friend. With Pierce's body burnt beyond recognition, Best can only identify him with a class ring. Later, Best joins his fellow soldiers at a bar to toast Pierce's memory. In Japan, Yamamoto becomes aware that the attack has provoked the U.S. He meets with Rear Admiral Tamin Yamaguchi, having hoped that Vice Admiral Chuchi Nagumo would destroy the U.S. oil tankers, but the men proceed to work on their next move, which is to go after the U.S. air carriers. Admiral Chester Nimitz arrives in Washington to be assigned as the new commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, which took a major hit with the Pearl Harbor attack. He later meets Layton, discussing the latter's failure to warn his superiors in time prior to the attack. Nimitz is firm that he will help lead the men in their next fight, starting by sending them to invade the Marshall Islands. McCluskey's men fly into the islands, while William Bull Halsey's men take on the Japanese from the seas. A fight ensues, with U.S. pilots firing upon Japanese ships. A machinist named Bruno Gato manages to successfully shoot down a Japanese plane into the ocean, which gets him promoted by Halsey. Later on, Lieutenant Colonel James Doolittle arrives as the men are heading to Japan to provide bomber planes with the intent of striking Tokyo. They begin their air raids across Japan. Doolittle ends up in Japanese-occupied territory in China. Japanese planes fire upon the village where Doolittle is, killing many civilians. Layton informs Nimitz that cryptanalyst Joseph Rockefort has picked up a message that indicates the Japanese are moving toward the Coral Sea, targeting something referred to as AF. The Americans make their move in that direction as well. Halsey promotes McCluskey to lead the pilots while Best is promoted to skipper. 
Layden thinks that contrary to Washington's belief on the Japanese are targeting a location in the South Pacific, Layden thinks AAF is code for Midway, and they are planning to attack there in a matter of weeks. Layden brings Nimitz to personally meet with Rockefeller to back up their claims. Nimitz orders them to try and convince Washington with this information. Nimitz later acknowledges this as fact after learning from Rockefeller's cryptologists that the target is a place with a water shortage, and Layton had just learned Midway's water plant was down. Best begins training the rookies to fly. One man messes up and lands in the water, getting killed when a ship sails over the plane. Best expresses his woes and doubts to and later that night. Nimitz orders USS Hornet and Enterprise out of the Coral Sea and demands that Yorktown, which has been greatly damaged, be spruced up for attack within 72 hours. The men continue to prepare and train themselves, all while dreading the battle that lies ahead. On the morning of June 4th, the Japanese launched their attack on Midway. Director John Ford runs around the scene with his crew to get some great footage for his next project. The Americans swoop in to join the battle. McCluskey orders his men to follow the Japanese as their destroyer makes its way back to the main fleet for reinforcements. The U.S. launched a torpedo at a Japanese battleship, but they miss. Meanwhile, Nagumo and Yamaguchi plot to launch another strike against the air carriers. The pilots proceed to bomb the Japanese battleships, severely wiping out their attaché. In the middle of the battle, Gato and another soldier are found by the Japanese in the ocean and are brought on board. After Gato insults them, he is thrown overboard and sunk with an anchor. The Japanese retaliate and destroy Yorktown. Best is informed that his squadron has lost many men and that one Japanese carrier remains, so he rounds up all the men he can to head out and destroy it. Following their defeat, Yamamoto orders his fleet to retreat rather than risk more casualties. Washington learns of the Japanese surrender, and they celebrate their victory. Yamaguchi and Nagumo stay behind and go down with their ship as it is bombed. The soldiers return home from their battle. Best reunites with N, informing her that he may not fly again since the doctors told him he inhaled caustic fumes. She is just happy that he is home, safe and sound. There are numerous texts regarding the fates of the American and Japanese men involved, as well as a dedication to all those that gave their lives. Thank you for watching until the end. Please drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with the latest videos from our channel. And if you have any suggestions, critiques, or recommendations for films and series you would like us to recap, feel free to write them in the comment section as well. And that's about it. See you in the next video.